in how many ways can 21 books on english and 19 books on hindi be placed in a row on a shelf so that two books on hindi may not be together so basically a question from permutations and combinations it says there are 21 books on english and 19 books on hindi then how many ways can you place these books in a shelf right in, in a straight line in a row in a shelf in a shelf so that two books on hindi may not be together two books on hindi may not be together so so this basically means that no two hindi books should be together i mean it's not very explicit there but the idea is that no two hindi books are together no two hindi books are together so we got to find out all those possible arrangements where the hindi books are not together right any two hindi books should not be together no two hindi books should be together and if no two hindi books are supposed to be together no two no three books also can be together you understand no two hindi books are together which means basically there should never be a case where any of the hindi books are together right there should be at least one book between any two set in any two pair of hindi books right any pair of hindi books so that's the whole idea so total 21 books on english and 19 books on hindi we have to arrange them in such a way that the hindi books are never together no two hindi books are together what do we do simple see there are 21 english books and 19 hindi books let us first always in such cases whenever we have to do the arrangement in such a way that one type of variable is not supposed to be together always arrange the other type of variable first see we have solved this question uh, uh, in in our video on permutations and combinations where we have uh, discussed about words right no two vowels are together no two consonants are together same concept so english is like consonants hindi is like vowels let's say so these vowels should not be together no two vowels should be together what do we do first arrange the consonants so we'll first arrange the other type of variable we'll first arrange the 21 english books in how many ways can you arrange the 21 english books 21 factorial ways yes or no there are 21 places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and, and so on up to 21 times right like e1 e2 e3 e4 and, and so on so there are 21 english books and of course 21 places so that can be done in 21 factorial ways 21 english books can be arranged in 21 factorial ways now what do you have to do you have to arrange the hindi books so 21 english books have been arranged now look at the possible ways of arranging this 19 hindi books see what is the condition the condition is that the hindi books should not be together so count all those places where the hindi books can come right let's count all the places where those hindi books can come see count those places i am using a different color to indicate that right where can these hindi books come in all these places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so on up to the last english book and then there's one more place after that you are getting it understand let's let's take a smaller number i mean 21 is a very big number to you know show it pictorially let's take five english and four hindi books what happens right let's say there are five english books and four hindi books in that case how do you arrange e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 we have arranged the five english books in five factorial ways now count the places where the hindi books can come hindi books can come in the middle one two three four possibilities four choices four places and also we can put it in the extremes here extreme left and extreme right so altogether we have got six choices one two three four five six there are six places where these four hindi books can be arranged there are six places where the four hindi books can be arranged so six places and only four books in how many ways can that be done six p four ways right so so idea is how do you get the total number of places available how do you find out the total number of places available always it will be this value plus one five plus one see five english books so in between five english books there will be four places and then two extreme places so four plus two six suppose there are seven english books total how many places will be available total eight places will be available seven plus one eight right if there are let's say uh, 12 english books so total how many places would be available for arranging hindi books 12 plus 1 13 always plus 1 to this in between we'll have 11 then one on the extreme left the other on the extreme right so 11 plus 2 30 so always plus 1 has to be done so here we have got 21 english books so how many places would be available for hindi 22 places in these 22 places we have to arrange 19 books that can be done in 22 p 19 ways so that's your final answer 21 factorial into 22 p 19 21 factorial times 22 p19 right another way of looking at it is you take 21 factorial as it is out of 22 places first choose 19 places in how many ways can that be done 22 c 19 ways and then in these 19 places arrange the 19 English, hindi books which can be done in 19 factorial which is one and the same there's no difference between these two right both are same 
21 factorial as it is. Here directly we are saying out of 22 places, 19 have to be chosen and arranged. So 22 p 19. Here we are first choosing those 19 places and then arranging those books in those 19 places. Right? So both are same. So all those who have got 21 factorial times 22 p 19 or 21 factorial times 22 c 19 times 19 factorial are correct. That is the final answer. 